Hi everybody, and welcome back. So last time we left you with a little bit of a troubling town experience, but today is going to be a little bit more laid back. Kind of. Well, at least at the first. I'm going to be exploring the castle, kind of seeing what the other kids are up to, and just, I don't know, seeing some of the cool sights. But I do have to go back to Professor Fig's office. He did want to talk to me about something that he found. I can't get enough of this castle, though. It's so cool, and there's so many different things that you can find and look at. All of the kids are up to something. It's so much fun to watch. But I hope y'all are enjoying this so far. Let's go and see Professor Fig. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Professor so Hecate Professor Fig wanted me to go learn another spell from Professor Hecat. But on my way to their office, I kind of got distracted by another student. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Very subtle, am I right? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. This is Zenobia Noki, or as we like to call her, Zenobia, are you no K? Are you no K? Are you no K, Zenobia? <laughs> anyway, she lost some of her marbles, I guess, from one of her games that she likes to play. And uh, if you lose this game, the marbles fart on you, basically. Some people don't like when they lose this game, so they hid her marbles all over the castle. So it was kind of our job to go find her. It did lead us to some pretty interesting spots in the castle, which I didn't mind exploring, but we finally did get it completed at some point. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs. And, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Professor Hecat wanted to teach me the spell Ascendio, the fire spell, but basically alluded to that she already knew that we have an underground fight club, and basically was pushing me to go fight in the fight club to gain some experience before she taught me this spell. So, it was off to the fight club. But before I got there, I ran into this guy. Who you're gonna see later. Uh, oh, not again! Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? 
As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed us, did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! Okay, you for this. A ghost bully that rhymes. This place is interesting. But I finally ran into Lucan, who looks a little young, but he actually runs the fight club. And he got me my first couple matches, and this is how they went. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. I was already ready for my next match, but this one was going to be a little bit different. It was going to be a three versus two. So me and Swallow, we had our work cut out for us. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. I did stay behind and practiced a little bit of my combos on this training dummy before I went and saw Professor Hecat. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. 
then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. After setting the training dummy ablaze a couple times, I wandered around the castle and found another Ravenclaw who needed my help. But this one was a little bit more dangerous than the last one. Spare a moment? I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. So basically Duncan is considered, I guess, to be like a chicken around school. And so he wanted me to go into a very dangerous place, find a really dangerous item, and bring it back so that he could show all his friends that he did it and they would no longer call him a chicken again. Hmm. The things I do for Ravenclaws. So on my way to this really dangerous place, I found this secret entrance and I found myself a really cool Renaissance hat. But then, I saw these two statues doing this. But after, I found this really cool gold jacket, and I put on my new attire, and I felt pretty cool. Everybody around school started calling me Golden Boy. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio! This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Revelio. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. The Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio! Lumos. Incendio! Yep, that's right. It was just hiding a really, really nice shirt. Revelio. Imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio! Lumos! Incendio! Lumos! Incendio! Lumos! Incendio! 
Lumos. Incendio! So, after all that, I thought I was going to have to fight this thing. But no. It just let me cut off a piece of it and take it home with me. Weird. Incendio! Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. <laughs> On my way back, I saw this kid trying to ride his broom, and he failed. Good luck, kid. Also, in the same hallway, I found uh, two ghosts fighting this time. This place is awesome. But let's get this thing back to Duncan. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. So after giving the magical leaf to Duncan, I took a little stroll over to Professor Fig's office. Now, it was still nighttime, so I took a really long nap on his floor. And when it was morning, I woke up and he was there. Ah, there and you are. And then he gave me this. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Now, Professor Fig and I were supposed to go check out the restricted section of the library, but he got called away by the headmaster. What he doesn't know is I'm going to go anyway with my good friend Sebastian Swallow. I hope to see you next time. See what we get into in the library. Peace out, everybody.